All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for watching. And of course, thanks for subscribing. Back at it, FSD beta 11.3.2. And we're going to do a, a roundabout test part two, a different roundabout to see how FSD beta fares and see if it does any better than our last roundabout. Started off a little bit earlier than I would than you would expect for these short videos, but just to give you a sense of the lead up and how it's performing prior to getting to the roundabout. The last roundabout that we did, it basically uh, you know started to get a little squirrely before the roundabout, which was a good indicator that in that area something was a little bit off that was throwing FSD beta off, that allowed it to perform poorly uh, in that roundabout situation. This time we'll see if the conditions are improved prior to the roundabout and then see how it takes the actual roundabout, okay? Settings are standard settings, um, average FSD beta profile. I didn't put minimal lane changes on this particular drive because we probably won't be going through a lot of different lane changes. I just wanna attack the roundabout, see what it does, and again, just catch some of the lead up up to the roundabout to see how it how it actually fares. Overall, this build has been pretty solid. Regressions are there from 11.3.1, but there are some improvements over 11.3.1 as well. So it's a little bit of a balancing act. And there's always gonna be regressions. I understand that. I'm familiar with how software development works. So I know there's gonna be some regressions, but the idea is to make sure that those regressions aren't some of the key critical regressions that uh, made 11.3.1 so great. Okay. So in this instance, it seems like it's working great for some people, um, working not so great for other people. And there's sort of a mixed bag there. Uh, obviously, if you live in the Bay Area, that's where it's going to work the best. That's why you might see videos of people posting zero intervention drives and all that good stuff, because that's where the developers are. They're used to working on those uh, those those streets on a day to day basis. So those are going to be the optimal conditions for FSD beta here on the East Coast. Not so much. Still waiting for Elon to set that hub up FSD beta dev hub in New York City, which I think would bode well for the entirety of the East Coast. But we'll see. We'll take it. We'll take it one day at a time. Super smooth, super comfortable. Super confidence inspiring are some of the basic things, such as staying in your lane, making turns, um, on ramp, off ramp stuff, uh, as well as turns. Turns are actually a lot smoother. Uh, however, there's a little bit of regressive behavior uh, for 11.3.2, where it, sometimes the turns do get a little bit of herky jerky, do get a little bit of uh, wiggle uh, and jerk on the steering wheel. And in fact, Tesla does call that the jerk network um, in terms of its ability to make smooth turns. They call it the jerk network, which is very interesting and funny. I think we're going to go up to a stop sign up here. And it's sort of a one way stop, not an all way stop. So I think this passing lane has the right of way. Decided to take that one. I'm not mad at that, even though that car turning had the right of way. I probably would have waited myself, but I'm okay with that. Good job signaling for the lane change here. But you can't really see on the road. You, it's, it's barely even visible for humans. If you weren't even looking, you'd definitely miss it. Taking this turn, this merge very slowly. And then it kind of proceeds to the yield. Thought that was pretty aggressive. I thought it could have came up a little further to the yield just to get a better vantage point of the traffic that's coming, but I'll assume it knew what it was doing. Excellent job slowing down here. Excellent job. Potholes, doesn't avoid. They're not terrible, so I'll let it go. 25 mile an hour zone here, and we're coming up to the roundabout. Okay. Now this is new traffic conditions here because this roundabout was recently added. 
So I'm interested to see how it's going to take it. So new traffic data here. So here's like the first one where we have to make this left, not quite going around it. Oh, well, here's the sign for the one coming up. But this is an interesting traffic situation here. Makes a little stop. I'll give it some acceleration to go. Taking a little bit of time. I don't want to jam anybody up. And here's the actual uh, roundabout traffic circle, whatever you want to call it. And it has to yield. So here we go. It's one lane as opposed to two, which I think helps. Yielding. Yielding. And it's clear to go, 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 go. A little bit of accelerator. This truck is just going to plow through. Good job. Okay. Good job. I had to give a little bit of accelerator because it got nervous and I got nervous too because that car, that truck didn't want to really stop. So that was actually pretty good on this roundabout. So it seems like it's conditional. Um, certain roundabouts where it just can't handle it. But let's do what we normally do and take it back for another round. All right, here we go. Round two, roundabouts. Let's see what it can do. FSD beta 11.3.2. Very, very blind on the left. It's a very steep angle. Car is creeping forward. Good job pulling out. Very hard to see as a human. And it's going to come up to this construction, get around these cones a little bit. Nice job slowing down. Nice job going around. Conditional going over the yellow line. It kind of hesitated because it knows it doesn't want to go over that yellow line. I appreciate that behavior. I appreciate that behavior. And here we go. Roundabout test to start to slow down. It does not. It just blows right through it. OK, well, it did it. It didn't freak out. So I think for one lane roundabouts, traffic circles, a little hesitant here, I think it can do. I think it's successful in doing that. I think the two lanes leading up to the roundabout or two lanes going around a roundabout or traffic circle, that's where it gets into trouble. That's where FSD beta cannot handle it. And just as, it just looks like and seems like they haven't really resolved that code from previous builds back to the 10.69 builds and beyond. Um, they haven't really resolved it, touched it with this new single stack. So I'm OK with that future progress, some things to be uh, desired in terms of functionality. But let me know your thoughts in the comments. Let me know what you thought about this roundabout single lane roundabouts. I think it's it's successful. There. We're successful with that. Good job, Tesla, on that one dual lane multi-lane roundabouts is where it gets problematic there's another three lane roundabout that i'd like to try out but it's a little far away from me um if i get a chance to get down to that area i'll test it out but i'm not going to go out of my way it's way too far away to justify just testing out a roundabout but um if the wife wants to go to that particular restaurant or whatever the case may be we'll take it for a spin okay let me know your thoughts on the drive let me know what your thoughts on this roundabout versus the last one and uh, let me let me know your thoughts. Let's talk about it in the comments. And until the next time, enjoy your day. Enjoy your Tesla.